How do you convert a string into an integer? Yeah, parse int we can do it, but like uh, if it is an uh, like uh, for example, I have a string ten, okay. Uh -huh. So that kind uh, that kind of thing I can convert it. Like uh, we have so many parses there, right? So uh, like a uh, parse int we can do it. The uh, like a uh, uh, in the creation of conversion time itself. Uh, before that, we'll give a praises. We can convert it. Okay. If it is not converting, we can go with the anything query language related to Hibernate. Uh, the here we are using the JPL. So, are you writing HQLs or uh, you are writing SQL and then executing them with, uh, with the help of Hibernate? No, we are using directly the Hibernate entities. Suppose you want to perform a transactional uh, operation. Do you understand uh, what is transactional operation? Transactional operation means uh, in Spring Boot, right? Transactional keyword we are using yeah, in, for creating. In, in general, what is transaction? Transaction means you have to connect some database part, you have to some data, you can fetch, you can modify like that the transaction you are right? Yeah, okay. But the transaction is, it's a uh, certain steps you need to follow. So, oh, uh, while, okay. while uh, yeah, so while fetching the, like suppose you are doing some transaction from your app, bank app and you uh -huh. paid some amount. So, what will happen, uh -huh. this amount will reflect to your account as well. It will be deducted there and it will be added into the new person's account. Okay. So okay. either these both things will happen or none of these things will happen. So this is transaction. So either all the steps will happen and if it fail in one step, all the steps will be revoked. So this okay. is transaction. So in Hibernate mm -hmm. you have a, or in JPA, whatever you have used, you uh -huh. have a scenario to perform such operations which are transactional in behavior. So how do you do that? Actually, we are using configuration class. Okay. And in that uh, entity bin factory is there, right? Factory and transactional is there. Okay. Based on that data source, we can create that um, transactional. Okay. And it will create a bin based on that database. And we are using Spring Data JPA. So in repository classes, we can add that transaction. So in set, uh, there are two type of set. One is hash set and one one is tree set. So when you will choose a tree set and when you will choose a hash set. If you we want to uh, sorting a list, then we choose tree set. And if we don't have the sorted order, then we choose a hash set. Okay. okay. Yeah, that is. Suppose you want to override default properties in your Spring Boot project. So what you will do? If Spring doesn't provide a way to configure it, so uh, there are some uh, ways you can also configure different properties by extending certain classes. So that is possible. Uh, if that is not possible for you, you can uh, stop the auto configuration from Spring. So Spring won't configure it, and you need to configure them manually yourself. So that is how you can provide uh, override the default properties. What are the different scope of being in Spring? Uh, there are five scope. Singleton is a default scope. Then prototype. Then a request, then a response, and then global session. The request session and global session. Sorry. Can you reference to a constructor while using method references? We can reference to static in a method, instead method using the particular object. We can do that, no, and we can. In the terms of methods, yes, we can do either it is static or non-static method. But can you do with the same with the constructor as well? Yes, yes, we can do with the constructor also. With okay. the help of uh, this term, yes, we, 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 we can what we not mention that uh, constructor uh, method like so we can we can use that constructor in method references also. In the in the case of method references, like uh, in the case of method, we give the method name. So in the case of constructor, what you will give? How we ensure that in call of singleton bean, the new instance of auto wired prototype bean should be created. In that case, we can uh, get object of the prototype every time we create the object using uh, application context dot get bin. So, so every time we will get the new object, right? But manually, we need to give the uh, we need to do the uh, object creation by using application context dot get bin. How you are testing your application? Okay, so we are not using the framework like Unit etc. So the scene. Okay, so what we usually do? Let's say I am developing some let's say new changes. Okay, so first of all, I have to check it from my side. And let's say then if my testing is over, okay, so then what we have to do, we have to push that code into the testing environment. And then there are some, okay, so there are some clicks that basically test the U, okay, that uh, there are some clicks that uh, test the UI part as well. And then there are some, that basically there are some clicks that are, that are checking the, you can see that the REST API as well. And after that, uh, we basically push our code to the production. Can you tell me the flow of Spring MVC? 
Uh, yes, uh, so Spring MVC model, model view controller. The first one, the first thing, what will have, it will do like, so whenever you are doing like uh, hitting any request from the UI, like when you are doing any submit button, you are clicking, that particular action will be come to the uh, dispatcher server, which is a uh, uh, front controller. So that will be the first thing what it will do. Uh, the After that one, what we will do like, it will it will search for that particular aspect to controller, that particular dispatcher server will uh, search for that particular controller. After that particular controller, we will define uh, the logic uh, logic whatever the business logic the service layer so yeah. in the service layer we can define that particular business logic so that one we will put it in the model object that uh, that particular model object can be able to access to the both uh, service layer as well as the uh, view view means in the uh, like a uh, front end so uh, that will be like a, a view in the sense html so that particular uh, model will be available to the, that particular view so whatever the results will be displayed on that on that on that, that particular view uh, like a sort and uh, that particular model that will be get displayed under to the view so this is the entire uh, architecture mvc architecture okay so if suppose two users are trying to update the same <coughs> database parallelly so how do you handle this situation in database entity in jps they are trying to update the same row itself right yes. uh, mostly row level not will be there so they are trying to update the same entity at a time right so whenever you think uh, there is in get and uh, load method there is a fetch via log there is a in what mode you are fetching that entity there probably i mean this is what i could think of and i have not used that but uh, i've read that i know there is a lock mode also yeah, in which you fetch the entity so if you want to update it you which via that only and it will uh, apply the lock on that and other will fail probably if the implementation is correct that our net must fail that if you have found lock. Do you know anything about reflection? Uh, no sir. It's a way to like modify the behavior of any any class. Dot class. Yeah, dot class directly yeah. in the code. Yeah. So you are kind yeah. of representing that class and uh, using the methods of that class or objects of that class. Direct. Can your microservice can share a common database? Yes. So, is it a good idea to share the database or not? Uh, yeah, it's good as well as bad, but it's good because the services are part of single application. So, they need to access the data of each other services. So, what is the use of this form file apart from dependency? Yes, we show dependency. But apart from dependency, what, what are the things we do? Apart from dependency. So mainly the reason we are putting the dependency inside that then other than if you want to configure the repository from where you are pulling or downloading the jars or the what we can say the resources that configuration you can put into that so let's say we are having the separate repository there will be putting the the scanned or the approved the versions of jars only so that we are pulling from the, from the repository so that configuration we are putting into the bom files that is the one purpose. So you store plugins. I mean, you add plugins, plugins. as well. Plugins yes, in yes. Form, your yeah. Form. Uh, you yeah. give the versions of your application and dependency. Yes. Dependency. So one dependency, then the second one is the plugins. Mm -hmm. And third, if we want to put the configurations or restrictions, access policies yeah, yeah, on the, yeah. any third party plugins. And the fourth one for the build purpose, the, the resource yeah. or the jar application you want to convert into the runnable jars. That configuration you can put into the form again. Okay. So if suppose my application name is XYZ and if I want to generate that uh, application jar into some. Uh, what is singleton? Singleton class? Singleton. Singleton class is nothing. It is like creating one instance of that particular class. So what we do for that is we provide a, we first of all, we create a constructor as a private. So in that case, it is not like whenever we are creating a new object. So it is with new something like new, uh, if we are having employee one is equals to new employee. So in that case, what we do is new is the one that creates an object reference. Okay. So what happens is uh, whenever we are putting constructor, so that is nothing but a constructor, default constructor that we are calling. So we put it as private. Yeah. And then we give a method which is a get instance. So okay. this get instance, what will it will do? It will check variable. We will define a variable for the same class with uh, which whose return type will be of the class itself. And we will check if it is null or not. If it is null, that means no object has been created so far. So we will create only one object for that and we will work on it. Okay. In Spring Boot, what happened is uh, we are having uh, the scope as singleton itself. So 
for all the fields so we don't need spring boot application uh, that is the main one uh, we have used uh, that uh, and uh, rust controller uh, controller and uh, component and uh, get mapping put mapping uh, those things i have i have used uh, and like uh, add rate value and uh, those uh, annotations i have used okay